Mike's Daily Podcast. F F F F F so 2290. I'm not sure. And it's Mike Matthews broadcasting from Podcastro Valley Mike. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's been a fun day. It's 2295. It's Tuesday and I have this podcast that I do every day not really but sort of I try sometimes I get interrupted I'm at cafe anyway what a great place to go and to bring your trumpet because trumpets are wonderful instruments also pianos and Mike's Daily Podcast if I had a you know what I need is a sustain pedal and then I can Mike's do fun things again Daily on my keyboard podcast the sustain pedal yeah. makes all that cool stuff. You know, when you're playing a piano and you hit the sustain pedal, it sustains the note. It's lovely. And I need that back. And I bought like a new one for my keyboard. It doesn't work. So that means Mike is on the hunt for a new keyboard at some point. You need to play a musical instrument. You need to get the music out of you. Ah, oh, cats. <laughs> Click to claim 10 points and get your daily dose of cuteness, says this thing that popped up on my screen from Microsoft Rewards. Is that Bing? I guess so. It. How does it know that I'm looking at a picture of cats when the thing I'm looking at the cats is a Google thing and Microsoft Bing? Are they in cahoots? Microsoft and Google. You know, I, they really shouldn't be. So I don't know what is happening there. But yes, so you know all about the wondrous experience that I had on Friday that involved the dog that suddenly appeared in the house. I don't know. I still haven't found out yet if the owners picked the dog up. So that is my next line of inquiry. The podcast picture is from Santa Cruz and the boardwalk. Just want you to know because they're going to ask. Here's today's podcast picture. So they're going to ask and that's what you're going to tell them. Santa Cruz. Yes, 2016. Yours truly. Wow. It's been that long. Yes, five years ago, I was enjoying Santa Cruz on this date. (laughs) Having so much fun. But you know what? I need to get back there. I haven't been back there in oh so long. So, and it's so, it's ridiculous because it's an hour and a half for me. And I would take the wonderful Basil the Boxer there. We would have a great time running on the beach. We met some cool people. We met some odd people. We thought they were cool at the beginning and then they turned really weird. So I don't know if that's a thing in Santa Cruz. Be careful who you meet because they might be cool at first and then they're odd. That might be typical of a lot of beach places And beach people I used to live near the beach So I am one to talk Because that happened to me So Basil, the late great Basil the Boxer there These days reality is a bit different When it comes to Getting supplies For back to school And all that sort of thing Microreal expert Don Schaffner A professor at Rutgers University says Many public health measures we use to control COVID-19 Also work to combat regular colds and flu Like regular hand washing That helps against colds and flu Use of hand sanitizer and masks And we have a huge hand sanitizer dispenser here at Cafe anyway So just load your hands up Load your palms up With that ooey gooey chemical reactive agent that kills all the bad bacteria. Which I'm sure there's somebody somewhere arguing that you can't kill all the bad bacteria. Because at some point you need bacteria to live. And the biomes, the skin biomes, the microbiomes. That that is a skin biome thing. That whole, with the Gyllenhaals, Jake and uh, the sister, Maggie. They're all about, and then there's the Dax Shepard and Veronica Mars. They're all about, hey, 
You don't. You shouldn't wash your hair. You shouldn't take baths because of all the biomes. Your skin biome, and then your your stomach biome. And I'm sick of saying that word, so I will stop. But there you go. In this world of what what should I kill and what should I keep, with what I put in my system or on my skin, I say take a shower now and then because I don't want to smell you. But that's another thing. This shopping list. Helps you cover the bases So that you're nice and prepared against fighting off flus and colds and worse Invest in a backpack you can throw in the washing machine Or easily wipe down with disinfectant That's a good idea Disposable face masks Pop fresh ones into a school bag each day Also keep a supply in your car's glove compartment and your handbag do not please throw those same masks on the floor, on the ground. That's been one of the things that have been polluting everything up. It used to be all fast food and that kind of instantaneous discard culture sort of stuff gets just thrown on the ground. And now masks. Well, it's been that way for over a year, so that's not pleasant. Disposable utensils, plates, and cups from picnics to parties, school lunches to work breaks. Eating from recyclable or compostable goods limits contact with germs. Pocket uh, pocket size tissue packs. Single serve snacks. Personal water bottle. School supplies set aside the idea of communal classroom Crayons, glue, pencils, scissors, tissues, etc. And switch to personal supplies uh, be, Being able to quickly refill travel size bottles Like the kind you clip in, uh, into your child's backpack Is an economical way to stay healthy at school On the road and at work Antibacterial shower gel or soap while some children get very sick with COVID, they are more likely they are more likely, likely than adults to be asymptomatic carriers. So encourage them to shower and change their clothes when they come home from school or after being out in crowds at athletic events and social gatherings. As we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley Mops, standing far away from everyone. Later that day. All right. Well... I got interrupted there Someone came outside a cafe anyway And talked to me for a while about stuff like San Francisco stories Old stories About the Radio world In San Francisco So we're pretty much all caught up on Keeping healthy And keeping away from the coronavirus Did you know that you're 25, uh, 29% more likely To get badly sick if you have not been vaccinated If you catch the coronavirus In other words You're not going to be One of those lucky people That has it But then you spread it To all your good friends No You're going to get it You're going to get sick 29% 29 times More likely to get sick So that's something to consider Hey we're outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valleymont The last place on earth And oh Look who is here after uh, some people have left because they didn't like my sort of uh, uh, pro-vaccination stance. Hi, Mike. It's Benny to the Rodeo Queen. How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled field player. Tell you what. What? I think I found some of those stories about San Francisco to be pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell you what. And that was a little soliloquy called Tell You What. And look who else is here. Oh, my God, make the delicious root beer. Has to run out. Folks, let's wrap this up because I've been here too long at Cafe anyway. Next show, it'll be the what? Drink it right now. I'll cut you. All right. Gosh. <sighs> so delicious. Mm. Next show, it's going to be the wonderful... Mm. Mount Rutabaga, Valentino, and Bison Bentley That should do it 
So you can chime in about anything that we covered. 336 three, mm daily. 3 plus 3 equals 6. mm is in Mike Matthews daily, as in what this podcast tries to be. And yes, pay attention to your dreams. Your strange dreams that you have. I've been hearing people tell me bizarre dreams lately, and it, you know. There may not be any meaning to your dreams at all Or maybe it's telling you something Kind of jogging your memory about something That you need to take care of I think that's pretty much all we need to say about it But yes Write them down Some people write them down I should really write them down I I, I want to try to do that Let's see But maybe there's there's some Sometimes there's something there like the ending of the show Is there an ending to this? Is there, Are we wrapping it up? Is there an actual conclusion there? Maybe we can sum it all up with this When you are a man Sometimes you wear stretchy pants Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced And performed by Mike Matthews His podcast is super easy to find Download or listen to his show And read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com Email Mike now At mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com See you tomorrow Bye